First time using this trailer. Finally got the winch attached. Put it inside this box, bolted it down. Pulled the cable all the way out back to the van, way back there. First time you use the winch, you're supposed to unravel it completely and tighten it back up so it's tightly wound on there. So we're just gonna use the van as weight. Um, just got it all bolted down there. Cut a small hole in the back for the wires to go through. Have to put a rubber grommet on there still. Got a couple set aside, just have to make the hole a bit bigger. And then gonna put a quick connect plug on here instead of having it like this just loosely wired on I'm gonna put the quick connect attached so I can just unplug it plug it back in then I won't have these cords dangling I'm pretty much good to go now My buddy Jason is going to put the chain on the van over there and grab the controller for the hydraulics plug is right here this just goes to this it goes up to here because it's a wireless wireless remote the battery is dead on the remote control so I have to buy a new battery just been putting it off I'm gonna try it like this first anyways. So. Got the hydraulics plugged in. The cord's quite tangled. This is the only problem right now. Got to make sure that this cord isn't getting tangled up because it barely reaches. Can you just come watch that cord? The red one is really tight. Oh, I think it went around the side. Yeah, like that right there. <laughs> that box lid again. Pulling up on my damn fuse thing. I just spun it this way so we got a little bit more. But I don't know if it's enough. I guess it was just the way the ground was yesterday. Like it, re it reached yesterday perfectly fine. Right. pulling up on this thing, so I don't wanna stretch it too much more. Yeah, it's definitely good enough, it's just a bitch. Yeah. I was, like, I was doing that quick connect, like, I was looking at the quick connect plug I bought yesterday. Yeah. I was gonna try to do it, but then I was like, yeah, just for today, I, I might as well use the extension, but. Yeah. Turned out that was a bad idea. But yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Just like one inch off the ground. Yeah. At least it's not a low profile car or Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta get that's the chain on it. Pretty good clearance on the pants. Slippery. Alright, so just find a way to get this chain on there. Wrap it right around the whole front rod again, the whole front end. 
might be the easiest way. Yeah, that's all I did last time. Push this back. Good. Okay. I guess just stay back there and just like steer it. You could probably just sit in it and steer. Now hopefully we got enough battery power to winch this the whole way from there. Plus to get this hydraulic to drop down. duty cycle is on this thing so probably shouldn't push it too far. Slowly but surely. Okay, I'm gonna film a time lapse of dragging this thing up and I'll start recording once I get it to the bottom of this trailer. The battery started dying. So we're winching that cable in from so far away. And of course, now it started pouring rain. So sit inside here, try to wait it out a little bit. Hopefully, it calms down a little bit. Finally stopped raining. Sun came out right away. Put the jumper cables from my buddy's truck right to the battery on on the trailer because the battery was starting to get weak, really dying out. So I'll have it plugged into there. And then the winch plugged into that battery. And it has a lot more power to it. It goes faster.
gonna give the winch a break for a quick second and then go ahead and winch it on completely. Because the trailer wasn't touching the ground, as soon as the van touched it, it, it pulled it, it up. Down, right? That's what I was worried about. As soon as it went down, I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Not supposed to do that. <laughs> Tear my cable right away. Just put it on there. Now, once I get that plug put on there, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah. Yeah, I think and we should get the J-hook for sure. Yeah, we need the J-hook. It'll make it easier. Putting it around. I mean, it's not a big deal. You can do that. It's quicker, though. You just literally hook it on and then go, right? Yeah, you hook so. it right to the control arm. And fucking yeah, anything you can find under there. Yeah, control arm, shock. The only thing I'm concerned about now is the battery because like like I said I'm, I was thinking about putting a second battery in my truck as a backup yeah. like in the under the hood yeah just as a backup so just in case this one dies I can bring it with me yeah but then I was thinking these 16 foot jumper cables might reach from the back of my truck to, to my to my battery yeah so yeah. if it ever dies like I don't I could just run it right off my own truck with jumpers. Yeah, yeah, I definitely could. I don't need more space for a battery, though. No, no, I know. Like, if I wanted, like, I was, I could have fit the battery in that box, but I figured one bat, I'd rather stick with one battery, because then I have to charge two batteries. That's true. Too. I'm gonna have a solar panel on this one, solar panel on this one, plus this one plugged into the truck. And then an extra battery. It's just so much, you know. I have to make sure every, all of them are charged. I think if this battery is good, it should run both and then just have a backup battery in the front of my truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the spare spot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, honestly probably the best best backup option you know because as long as this thing's charging as i'm driving plus the solar panel store a lot of stuff underneath that yeah thing. no that's a good idea my spare tire i should put under there you know what i mean because i was you trying to figure out like a little basket yeah and then just trap it in there you know what i mean just an idea Okay. You could sit right in it. We don't got no walls to worry about anymore. <laughs> leave it there for a sec I'm gonna drop the trailer down and it will take a lot of strain off of it Cables aren't getting pinched. Yeah, without even winching it, yeah. Just get ready to hit the brakes if.
Okay. Yeah, put it in park and put the e-brake on if you can. Well, that's much better than the last trailer. We had to fucking break off the bumper on that one van I put in there. The other time I had to strap the tailgate up. Half the time you have to cut the car in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's like that looks small on there. Yeah, it does. Look at it on the screen, dude. It's like a little tiny car just on yeah. that fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Badass. Now we just got to get our... I got I bought some tire straps, so I'll put four tire straps on all the way around, and that should be good. Dude, you could have at least tried to keep it in the center. That's pretty fucking good, if you ask me. Dude, it's like three, like an inch and a half more on that side than this side. Good <laughs> money, dude. Look. One board. Bro, that's perfect. That's lined up perfect, I think. I have to say myself, that's lined up perfect. I don't know, that might be like a couple millimeters like, off. Like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty fucking good for yeah. sure. Hell yeah. Now I just have to get this thing back home. Try to get the fucking cat off of it. Maybe a couple other parts. And then hopefully sell it in the morning. I'll update you after. Once I get the tire straps on and everything, I'll give you a quick update. And then we'll update you later too. Let you know how the cat is to get out. Had a Chrysler Town and Country and the cat was a pain in the ass to get out of there. So I'm assuming this one's gonna be the same. It looks like it's pretty much in the same spot. Okay, get these tire straps going. There we go, got it strapped down. Got four of these tire straps. A 10,000 pound towing straps so one on each wheel definitely a lot safer than the old trailer old trailer didn't have proper tie down spots so it's looking good So just cleaning up, gonna head out of here, try to beat the traffic. So I'll update you guys a bit later. pretty good just over 4,000 pounds I was guessing it'd be about 4,100 pounds Pretty much exactly they've never paid me aluminum rims like this before 40 cents a pound on aluminum rims with tires still on the van it's awesome prices are so good right now actually making it worth it to buy cars so up here this is where I store my trailer I'll store it here for now until I find a better spot because the thing's so long it doesn't even fit in a normal parking spot so it makes it even harder to find a spot so, got all the tire straps for the cars got four extra straps that I just bought right there they're on sale at Princess Auto for $14.99. Put 
probably need to get a couple more. Should probably have at least six of them for this trailer. I'm just dropping it off. Let me check my battery. I'm supposed to be getting charged from the truck through the trailer cable here. But it doesn't seem to be charging or I used my multimeter on the battery when the truck wasn't on and then when it was on. So unless it's just giving it a really small trickle charge. I also have this solar panel hooked up to the battery. So it slowly charges it. I'm gonna grab my multimeter, check if it's went up at all from the sun from today or from driving for a while. Hopefully the battery's good and then we can just start winching stuff on. Don't have to worry about the battery so much. I guess that's it for now. Got a lot more work to do back at my shop. Re rearranging my shop. Got to move over to a new space. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. So I'll update you guys soon. And thanks for watching.